In today's video, we're gonna be exploring the stages in Street Fighter 6 and see if they hide anything interesting that you probably cannot see while playing the game. To begin, we're gonna start off with Tian Hong Yuan stage, which is one of my favorites, mainly because of the vibrant lights and colors, and apparently this place is based on the Yu Garden in China. What I found most interesting in this stage is actually the tourists that you see in the background. Look at this palm reader for instance, whose client seems to be having a lot of fun. If we go further into the stage, we see more tourists and backpackers just chilling and having a great time. And if you look even deeper into the stage, however, the characters suddenly become 2D with very little detail given to them. Aside from that, there isn't much to see here, which is why we're gonna jump to the next stage, the Thunderfoot Settlement. If you look closely, it won't take you long to realize that this place is actually Mexico. Just look at this guy with his big sombrero hand drumming while his friend next to him is playing the guitar. On the right side, there is more guys sitting and drinking their favorite beer apparently, and as you can clearly see here, it says cerveza on the bottle. In the background, there is more spectators wearing traditional clothes and kids just playing around. But what caught my attention the most was the favela you see far ahead, which is actually typical in Latin American countries. Alright, now we find ourselves in Asia again, and this time we are at the Gembu Temple in Japan. And I gotta say, well, this is one of the most beautiful stages in the game, mainly because of the Tori Gates and the Cherry Blossoms, as you can see. It is also one of the least interesting ones, because there isn't much happening in the background. So let's take a, a quick look and enjoy the view before we transition into the next stage. Okay, we have traveled to Europe, more specifically to Paris. Since we are in an amusement park here, there is a lot going on in the background. People just chilling, enjoying some food and drinks. There is this kid playing with a mime artist. But I guess there is no one having more fun than this kid who's shooting teddy bears. Further in the background, we see kids swinging around and a big roller coaster that has a moving train attached to it. That is actually a nice detail to have. I guess we can't leave this amazing stage without having a closer look at the most iconic thing about Paris, the Eiffel Tower. Alright, we found ourselves in London now, and as you'd expect, we are presented with famous landmarks from the city, including Big Ben that you see right there, the double-decker bus just in the background, and most importantly, a gentleman right here sipping on his delicious tea. I gotta say they did a pretty good job of portraying London with its known calm and gloomy atmosphere. Before we leave this stage though, I noticed that there are two trains that pass through the street and when I followed them, they simply disappeared as soon as they're out of the player's view. Okay, we have traveled in time I guess, and now we find ourselves in a coliseum surrounded by Roman soldiers and lions. What I find interesting about this arena is the fact that near the main gates, you see this 2D character who's probably the emperor, cheering and encouraging the fighters to keep going, but what's intriguing is that on both sides of the gate, you see the modern flag of Italy. Speaking of 2D, all the spectators sitting along the podium are actually also 2D textures and interestingly enough, they are all dressed in modern clothing. Just when I thought there is nothing else to this amazing arena, I noticed that there is like one hill you see like deep 
far in the background. And when I got close to it, there is actually a Roman temple on top of it. That's a really, really nice detail. From a Roman temple, we transition into a Hindu place of worship, and I have to say, this definitely does feel like a sacred place. I mean, just look at the level of concentration of these monks, they almost feel like they're statues. Looking deep in the background, we find this golden statue of Ganesha, who is apparently the god of wisdom in the Hindu religion, and is portrayed as having an elephant head. Speaking of elephants, this temple is really full of them. Finally, we finish this tour with Carrier Byron Taylor, which is described as the US military's most advanced aircraft carrier, and as you can tell, there is lots of fighter jets just parked on top of it. I would say the most interesting thing in this stage is this big dude who is doing push-ups instead of watching the match. Who knows, maybe he's training hard to become part of Street Fighter 7 roster in the future. With this, I will end today's episode. Let me know which stage is your favorite. For more, make sure to like the video and subscribe to Game Lucian.